Hello, I am Godly NYE, the son of Wonderful. We are going to discuss about uh, Onicha, the latest in Onicha. That's what we are going to discuss and what needs to be done urgently with uh, a timeline. Because um, Onicha is the Obindibo, Onichabo, Obindibo. Odeka Lagos Tundi Bonine. So we need to be proactive in this um what we are going to discuss. Very, very important. Um we must also in this commend the governor of Anambra State, Professor Chuku Masuludo, for remembering on each other in his um road construction and rehabilitation. Um, why am I saying this? There is so many reasons. But before we um, talked about these things, uh, remember to subscribe. Remember to share this video. Like this video so that it can go viral. So we are going to um, start our discussion, what we are going to talk about on nature. Stay tuned. Yeah. Welcome back. I am Cordley NYA. We are going to be discussing the, the need for all the Onicha, um, Greater Onicha uh, City, all the, the roads in this Greater Onicha City to be built or rebuilt. That they need to be constructed. It need to be uh you know, done right. And some of you might be asking, why am I saying this? You can see that um, already what uh, Soludo, the fewer roads is doing in this greater Onicha is booming the city already. You can see what has started happening in the, the city of Onicha. So this is what can happen. I can't go be a bins So what am, am I talking about? The need for a partnership with the people of this uh, Onicha, Greater Onicha, with a timeline to build, to rebuild all the roads in the Greater Onicha. We are talking about 100 roads, roads or 200 roads at a time. So this can solve a lot of problems. This can change the narrative. Because if you look at Fege, what Soludo is doing there, the nine roads is doing around Fege. You can see how Fege is gradually being transformed the economy, the city coming back to life. So think about what will happen if we deliberately said we have a timeline of so-so one year to one year and a half that all this road will be done. Let's just get the money or let us do it in partnership and do all these roads, all the street roads. Let us do it properly for once. How a city should be in the 21st century. This will immediately breathe life into the city of furniture. This can change a lot of things. This can make furniture the envy of other cities. Because furniture has never had this type of... Uh, planning by anybody so not just doing few arrows but doing all at the same time getting all done through either borrowing money for that all of them or in partnership so it's very very possible to be done what the government of Soludo need now is to be bold enough he need to be bold and he need also 
to partner with the people. He need also to have a timeline. It's not something that you'll be saying, I will, I will. It's something that if we are going to start it in six months' time, you know that you are going to start it in six months' time and all of them will be completed within a year or a year and a half. So with a timeline, with that, a lot of investors will flood into that city. I'm telling you, what will be happening in Onitsha will be something that has never happened before in Nigeria. Because the people, the investors, will flood in there. So, that's what we are discussing. And, um, I don't know if you have any um, contribution or any idea, any opinion concerning this. Come to the comment section and drop one. Remember, we are doing all those things in response to what people are discussing. And remember, we are also reacting to them and also showing a way out of any problem or love jam. So that's what we are doing. We are not doing something uh, um, of imaginations or this. We are doing something that is can actually change things. It's offering solution or a way out of burning issues in our homeland. So that's what we are discussing about. So when we are discussing all these things, it's very, very important to, for us to pay much attention to what we are discussing. Because what we are discussing is for the good of our homeland. If we get on it right, I'm telling you, the Anambra State Government, even Anibo, will have their confidence back. Because Onicha is very vital for the economic rejuvenation and growth of not just uh, Anambra State, but the Southeast and the Southern Nigeria and Nigeria in general. So it's very, very important for us to have a way to solve this burning issue. The number one burning issue is this road construction, which Soludo has started. But what happened is that we need to go far Bigger than that, we need to think big over these things so that we solve this problem once and for all, so that we don't need every year we are building roads in the same city. But we need to have a collection of over 100 200 roads and build at once. So that's what we need to do. So this will uh, re engineer this great city of our nature. So we need. A timeline. We need a, uh, a determined administration, an administrator. We need a determined governor to bring this thing to pass. Because without that, we will be uh, not actually changing a lot in this in the in this city. So this city needs somebody so much eager and so much. Uh, Somebody burning with passion. Somebody that has so much passion that want to increase the productivity of this city. And this city, because it's a, a logistic uh, city as well, needs better roads. It needs for the economy to expand so that it will not be just trading. Because once you build a road, all other things start to um, come in play. So it's very, very important for us to have a good conversation over this. Let's discuss. Let's talk about it. Let's get the governor and the politicians to talk about these things. Let's give us ourselves one year, one year and a half, two years to do this. The time is now. We don't need to be wasting much time. We don't need to be delaying. We don't need to be procrastinating about it we need action we need action plan which cannot be more than two years one year one year and a half highest two years to accomplish this that in one year we are going to finish 100 rows 
a year and a half, 200 euros or 150 euros or 200 rows and that's it and this will basically change a lot of things in this city i'm telling you once we do these things the soul of furniture that was nearly taken away from it will return back because it will be easy for other things to be done because once there is easy movement around furniture you know, if government is also desirous of uh, connecting all those roads, seamless connection, uh, connection with flyovers and all those things, yes. But if we can initially, let, let's rebuild those roads. Let's get them up and running. And every other thing will follow. Every other thing will fall in line. The key to unlocking of furniture is first to roads. There are other things, but we are going to be discussing on this. What we are discussing today is about roads. Roads. 100% or 98% construction of all the roads. So this will also encourage those uh, developing new estates around the greater nature. To not to have uh, this uh, selling of land anymore without developing uh, the infrastructure, the road infrastructure. So it's very, very vital for us, for this uh, great city to be on the up, not on a down, downward spiral. So Onicha will be great again. But we, this city needs us. This city needs our action. It needs a concrete action with a timeline a very short timeline that will is like re-engineering or recreating the city very very vital for us very very important for us to look at it so i am still called the nye the son of wonderful remember this channel is educative is informative and is entertaining so Remember to share this. Remember to subscribe to this channel. So what is your view on this? Do you think this can work? Do you think uh, the government of Anambra State can buy into this idea? Do you think these things we are discussing is something that can change things? So please go to the comment section and drop your message. Remember to share this to every platform. This discussion, let's bring it to the homeland. Let's constructively be discussing about this. Remember, what our people are known for is Iwebike. So Iwebike, once you are able, we are able to convince a lot of people, they will start talking about it. As they are talking about it, they will be able to convince these delaying politicians these uh, uh, Ujon Webuji politicians for need for a complete turnaround of furniture because the furniture holds so much promise. It's like our, our business capital. It's our business uh, uh, city. So it must be something uh, extraordinary done there. So meaning that all the roads has to be done. Not one or two. All. So, thank you very much for uh, having patience to listen and watching our videos. Thank you. I do admire your, your support. I also admire your uh, criticism, those who are criticizing. Uh, we, are not, we are not immune to criticism. Bring the criticism, whatever you want to say, say it. But don't um, do months sliding. What we are doing here is not fake. We are projecting something. We are projecting our homeland. And we are offering solutions. And we are also putting pressure on the authorities so that they can do better than what they are doing at the moment. So thank you. I am so cordially NYE, the son of the wonderful.